Hello, welcome everybody. Uh, kicking off the uh, V Brown bag for uh, Comcast Cloud, which today we're going to focus on running a multi tenant private cloud at scale. So, uh, I'll set a little bit of the context for what we do at, at Comcast. Uh, actually, do you want to kick off with who sure. Comcast is? Uh, so, for anyone who's not familiar with Comcast, um, we do run two primary businesses uh, Comcast Cable as well as uh, NBC Universal. Uh, as noted here, Comcast Cable is the largest U.S. provider of video, internet, and IP phone services to residences, uh, and also those services are provided to businesses uh, under the Xfinity brand. Uh, NBC Universal does operate 30 news, entertainment, and sports cable uh, networks, as well as some of the other properties mentioned here. Um, so a little background, uh, our typical development stack heretofore has been largely vertically integrated. Uh, closed in terms of hardware and software selection and usage, um, largely targeting platform 2.0 applications. Um, the lead time on hardware typically has been three to six months from order to deploy, and most of the applications have been designed, and most of the uh, hardware is designed to scale up as opposed to scale out. So a little bit of what we were looking for when we, we chose OpenStack, we were looking for platform stability for like a big community, uh, open source licenses or flexible licenses, and the ability to scale. So you know we kind of did an evaluation back in 2012 and landed on OpenStack. One of the things that we really appreciate of what OpenStack brings us is uh, an API abstraction layer, right? It helps prevent vendor lock-in for us, right? And that's one of the reasons why we actually uh, ro um, use uh, uh, upstream OpenStack, roll our own OpenStack, and not actually use a vendor even level at the OpenStack layer. And now we can kind of bring in all different types of switches, um, storage, compute platforms, and to the end user, they all look the same. Uh, one of the other things is when we started using OpenStack, it actually didn't support IPv6. Uh, and what we appreciated is that we could actually join the community and actually we helped lead the IPv6 sub-team in OpenStack help get IPv6 support upstream as of uh, Icehouse, and uh, currently today, uh, OpenStack does support IPv6, so mm -hmm. the fact that, hey, yeah, it might not do what you need to do it today, but you can actually do a little bit of work, participate in the community, and get it what you needed to do. Uh, we are now a top 10, 20 contributor to OpenStack with a relatively small team. Uh, we contribute code, documentation, and expertise. We participate in the community. Um, Mateo? So uh, how does OpenStack at Comcast enable new deployment models? Um, I can run through that. Uh, so removing barriers for our product teams uh, at a high level. Um, resources are now available to our products on demand. Um, elastic scaling allows better, uh, us to better uh, serve peaks and lows uh, and opens doors for special initiatives, uh, event-specific applications, for example. Um, obviously, horizontal scaling, app resiliency, um, encourages our products to scale horizontally and, and, and dynamically. Um, moves resiliency up the application layer where there's more intelligence. Can you speak on regional data, sir? Um, so, uh, we have two kinds of uh, data centers at Comcast. We have uh, uh, large national data centers where most of the backend services go to, and then we have uh, regional data centers, which are much more closer to our customers. Uh, the regional data centers uh, serve a couple of specialized functions. They're used when we need a lot of bandwidth uh, out to the customers, or when uh, we have like latency requirements where we need to be close to the customers. So maybe a little highlight on, on exactly you know where we are with scale. So as we kind of mentioned earlier this week, you know we currently have 600 projects or individual tenants on the cloud. Uh, these are all internal projects, products, things like that, and about 1,500 uh, engineers that are actually accessing and, and deploying things and doing things on the cloud. Our footprint has doubled in the past month. We anticipate another doubling by end of year, uh, and we keep adding more and more sites as well as growing our national data center capacity. Um, and we, you know, I think a lot of times people ask, okay, but what are you running in production there? Uh, Michael, you wanna? Yeah, so <clears throat> some of the customers that we have in production, which are fairly large scale, uh, the first uh, articulated here, um, X1, which is sort of the uh, marquee product for Comcast Cable, 
we run currently on OpenStack the apps, uh, things like weather, sports, et cetera, as well as uh, what's known as the X1 or XRE guide, which is literally when you press the guide button uh, on your X1 remote, uh, the, the lattice that comes up uh, in terms of uh, showing you what's on uh, at what time is currently running um, on um, OpenStack as well for millions of set-top boxes. Uh, we have an application that just went to market called Xfinity Share. Uh, and you can think of something like uh, Meerkat as an example, uh, as, a, as a comparison there. Uh, the ability to stream video to uh, designated uh, set-top boxes. And then uh, another example that, we, that, we're, that we've deployed at scale that we're using currently is our own internal conferencing system, uh, which does integrate with uh, video as well. Should we maybe talk about how do we actually get OpenStack to work at scale? So we have a large number of OpenStack uh, regions that we deploy because of our national data centers and regional data centers. Um, we found that we needed to uh, centralize our Keystone infrastructure and run it as an uh, Apache WSGI process so that it can handle uh, authentication and authorization requests from uh, lots of users across lots of regions. Um, so we do this typically for all OpenStack uh, controller services. We run them behind Apache where we can uh, scale out Apache and then uh, OpenStack behind it, uh, kind of like depending on the process, you can run multiple instances of the process to uh, scale the OpenStack services horizontally. Um, we also found issues around the default database settings, so we had to tune those to uh, get OpenStack services to work with our, uh, the storage, uh, centralized storage. Uh, now onto networking. Um, one of the challenges that we had with Neutron was Neutron, uh, in the previous uh, versions of OpenStack, uh, had a uh, scalability limit in terms of there was a network node which had to take all of the uh, network traffic and that, that, wouldn't, that was a model which wouldn't fit for us. But OpenStack also lets you use different network models which do scale uh, and we chose one of those network models called provider networks. So this lets us offload our, uh, some of the network functions onto the upstream network gear which, is, uh, which can handle like large loads uh, and the underlying open infrastructure, uh, OpenStack infrastructure just needs to handle uh, the L2 pieces. Um, for some of our workloads, we also had to tune uh, the Linux kernel uh, to be able to handle security groups, large amount of uh, rules uh, in IP tables. We had to upgrade our OBS uh, Open vSwitch software and also kernel to be able to get line write speed on our OpenStack uh, compute nodes. Do you want to do the region? Uh, so uh, one of the things that we're, we're doing now is we deploy regions with up to 100 compute nodes. Uh, one of our goals is over the, the near future here to actually continue to scale how many nodes we have in a region with the hope to get to be able to do something like 1,000 nodes in a region uh, in the next year. Uh, and so we're working with the community on what it's going to take to get there. I think right now some other uh, larger scale vendor uh, operators are getting 300 plus compute nodes already in a region. I think that's uh, that all we got. So we're kind of uh, opening it up for questions and we can kind of give you feedback about how we run OpenStack at scale. Thanks. Thank you. Any questions? Nope. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you.